in the beginning days of my career, there were a lot of people who didn't want to allow someone with a name to come and be interviewed by me. And I might just have asked them some, what seemed like a ridiculous question, and somehow they started talking to me. And the next thing, something else came out. And so I didn't have a list of questions. I just listened. And wherever they sent, wherever, whatever they told me sent me someplace. So it became very different in, in a way. And uh, the day that um, I went on television became a whole different world. And it opened up a whole different world in reporting and everything else. It didn't happen overnight, but it was the beginning steps. And um, when I, you know, when I did my first big special that I did with, I decided to do it with women. These were four of the hottest women in America. My first special: Anne Margaret, Liza Minnelli, um, Raquel Welch, and Cher. And uh, Cher was the only one out of the movie realm, but she was so hot at the time that um, I remember her PR person said, you put her on this show and she'll make the show for you. And in many ways she did, but what the ladies had to say also was very interesting. Women have a different way of opening up and expressing themselves and telling you things that men are sort of reluctant to do. But I tried it with the men. And I can't tell you when the first time that I asked Michael Caine if he would describe to me what uh, being uh, a macho man was, I'll never forget his answer. He said, a macho man isn't someone who can sleep every night with a different woman. It's the man who's able to sleep every night with the same woman. So uh, I never, <laughs> never forgot it. And um, I asked Jimmy Kahn, who was on the same special with Michael, uh, what was his first sexual experience like? And he looked at me and he said, are you serious? And, uh, and, and that, was the, that was the beginning. And he said, I don't remember what he said, it was awful, it was great, or whatever it was. But he then started to explain, and so did all the other guys, but never the same way that the women always could talk about it. And I think because of the way women could speak and tell, express their emotions, made a tremendous difference in how all the interviewers, who were maybe already on television, then started to ask questions. And, and uh, so began a new age in Hollywood uh, of um, finding out more truths than not about who these people were that we fell in love with and may have fallen out of love with in, matter, in, in a matter of minutes or months or weeks.